Hello friends. So after completing section of solids, now we are moving to new portion which is called uh, development of surfaces. So what do you understand by the term development of a surface? Consider this as a center. So what is the development? Simply this is its development. This is the development of the lateral surface of a cylinder actually. So what is this, uh, what is actually a development? See development is unfolding of a three dimensional object into a two dimensional plane. So we know that consider a cylinder. We know that there will be two bases, one at the bottom, one at the top, both will be of circular shape and then there will be a lateral surface. So the full development of a cylinder will consist of two circles and a rectangle having a length of 2 pi r and a height of the height of the cylinder, right. So that circle, the two circles are known as uh, the, uh, are the development of its base and the rectangle is the development of its lateral surface, clear. Similarly for a square prism, there will be two squares and a rectangle having the perimeter as its length and height as its height. Okay. So now we are moving to the problems on development. The first question you can see in your screen right now. Question is a square prism of base 30 mm and height 60 mm is placed on the ground on one of its square faces. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP inclined with HP at 45 degree and bisecting the axis. Draw the development of the lateral surface of the lower portion of the prism. See, this is the question. So, in the question it is given that a square prism of a side 30 mm and height 60 mm is placed on the ground on one of its square faces. So, first we have to draw its simple position, right. So, in the simple position, in the top view we can see the square and in the front view we can see its height. So, Now the front view of the solid has been constructed. It is given that uh, this side is 30 and height is 60. Now it is cut by a section plane bisecting the axis at an inclination of 45 degree which is perpendicular to VP and inclined with HP. That is an axillary inclined plane. So an axillary inclined plane cuts the solid at an inclination of 45 degree and passing through the midpoint of the axis, right? So now we can uh, draw the section plane. So locate the midpoint of the axis. This is the midpoint of the axis. Draw a horizontal line there. And at an inclination of 45 degree. Draw the auxiliary vertical plane. Right. So this is the VT. And we can see that uh, this section intersect two points here. That is 1 dash, 2 dash and two points here that is a 3 dash 4 dash. Now what we have to do is we have to develop this surface on the below portion of the section. See after cutting or after sectioning this portion will be removed. So it is given that we have to develop this develop this or draw the development of the bottom portion of the solid right. So listen we know that since this is a square prism the development, the lateral, the development of the lateral surface will be the length of its, will be a rectangle having the length of its perimeter as its base and height as the height of this prism or the square prism, right. So, if we can start here means, uh, now what will be the length, it will be? 4 a that is the perimeter right so take 30 
okay so this is the development of the prism now if we can start uh, usually the development are uh, indicated with the capital letters so this is a capital a capital a now this is capital b then capital c then capital d after reaching capital d as it is unfolding the final portion will meet the initial line okay so the final will meet the initial lateral edge the both the lateral edges are same so the last lateral edge will be a only so if we are unfolding or uh, start unfolding at the point a it will reach again at the point a at the lateral edge through the point a. okay now c we can see that at the point at the lateral edge through the point a the section plane meets this point 3 okay which means at the lateral edge a and the lateral edge b this will be the corresponding value of the section plane that will be the height of the point 3 dash and 4 dash so this is 3 and this is 4 in the corresponding the portion above it will be sectioned or will be trimmed similarly in the uh, lateral edge through the point c and d only this much height is there so transfer this height in the corresponding lateral edges that is in c as well as in d so that we will get 2 and 1 Similarly, this is again 4. So, this will be 3. Okay. Now, what we have to do is to just connect all these points. See, this is a 3, 4, 4, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, So, this is the development of the square prism, right. So, mark the above portion using thin lines. Now, dimensioning, this is 30, this height is 60, that will be equal to 4 to 30, that is equal to Okay, so it is given that a square prism is placed on the ground and it is cut by a section plane passing through the midpoint uh, perpendicular to VP, England to the HP, passing through the midpoint at an inclination of 45 degree. So draw the front view, draw the top view of the square prism, draw the front view of the square prism and draw the section. We can see that it intersects two points here and two points here. Mark the corresponding points. Now we know that for a square prism, the development will be a rectangle having a length of its perimeter 4a and height the same 60. So, draw a rectangle, then mark the, uh, mark the corresponding generators, the uh, corresponding slanted edges. So, take this point as a, then this is 30. So, 30, 30, 30, 30. That will be uh, draw the four slanted edges, name it as A, B, C, D, and finally again it will reach back to its point, return to its point A. So, name it as A. Now, take this much height because 3 and 4 are lying on the lateral edges A and B. So, this height should be marked in A and B, the lateral edge through A and B in the development. Similarly, 1 and 2 will be marked in the lateral edge through the point C and D. Connect all this point so that you will get the development. Now, what this lines indicate because it is a square prism so there will be lateral edges so this lines also should be marked okay so the lines showing the, with the yellow color should be dark and the other should be with the thin lines thank you i hope all of you have understood thank you